Hey Pokemon fans, today we're going to be talking about how the recent release of Pokemon Sun and Moon affects Amore shipping. Now when I say release, I mean the release of the trailers. We now have starters, we have legendaries, we have so many things. Oh my goodness, it is just amazing. It is, oh, and, but, of course, with the introduction of a new region, there is a bittersweetness to this. Well, there's the sweetness of the new region and the new Hawaii and just beautiful graphics and just beautiful game design, we unfortunately have the curse of the end of Amor shipping. But do not worry, I do not see this as an end. Now, I am here to console you, you Amor shippers, and to rile you non-Amor shippers, I believe, or to convert you, that Amor shipping indeed has a chance and what is this chance that Amore shipping has? Well, it resides in the fact that Hawaii is not the end point. I mean, you might think, well, Serena won't fall Ash because she has to go to Pamela and she has to train for Kalos Queen. You know what? What's wrong with traveling? I mean, like, as as part of your goal, why can't you travel? Why can't why can't she explore new regions? I mean, whoever said that Serena does not have has to stay in Kalos? Why not? Why couldn't she take a year off or something and go and go explore new regions or something and figure out who she is and learn more about about performing and about culture and then come back with more formation in the art that she's trying to perform? I mean, with 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 Ash, Ash is a great mentor for her. I know I know like he isn't like the the best mentor, but like his his example is doing amazing things for her. And she has motivation, and you know what I mean by motivation, to go and explore. She loves exploring. I know we all think she travels around Ash, and you know a lot of people hate her for that, but you know what? She does like traveling. It's a fact. Serena does like to travel. It's something she's enjoyed. It's something she's talked about. She likes, she likes the traveling. I mean, that is something she really, really likes. And it's made her better. I mean, it, when we first met her, she was a grumpy little, really angsty teenager. But now she's she's really nice. She's she's great. She's amazing. And she's she's just so motivated versus like the depressing person who slept into like noon. That pretty much makes all teenagers in the U.S. But now here she is. We have this decisive moment. Will Ash win the league? Will Serena follow him to the next region? Will Ash even go to the next region? You know what? Ash will go to the next region. Even if he wins the league, he can go on a champion tour. And when he goes on his champion tour, I believe that Serena will follow him for one reason or another. If not directly, they'll end up meeting up somewhere in the region. Kind of like Brock ended up meeting up with Ash in like every single region. You know? Except for Kalos. He never met up with Ash and the gang in Kalos. You know, like, he just so happens to be there. It's going to be that way with Serena. Ash is going to go to, you know, Aloha, like, I'll oh, say goodbye, go there, and they're like, oh, hey, hey, Serena, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, Pamela told me to go travel here. Oh, sweet, want to team up? Sure. And then they'll meet some sort of friend. Like, hey, maybe even they'll meet Kuki, and it'll turn out to be, like, Ash's cousin or something, and they'll be like, whoa, what the heck? It'll be amazing. And, you know, something like that. But... Before we get into that, it's 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 there are so many there are so many potentials here of, of how they can get here. I'm gonna list off probably the best potentials to get them there. Either A, Pamela sends her Serena off and says, Okay, Serena, you need to go learn a little bit more about performing. Hey, your breaks in kinda reminds me with your performance with breaks and kinda reminds me of the uh, torch twirling performers in Aloha, aka Hawaii, you know, the torch twirling guys, I forget what they're called right now, but anyway, go over there, and oh yeah, hey, we're gonna learn how to do your performance better in Hawaii, and basically learn things with all your Pokemon, and it's gonna be great, you're gonna learn how to do stuff, and you're gonna get awesome, and then meanwhile, Ash is gonna go there, and hey, maybe if he loses, he's gonna be like, ugh, great, and it's like, hey, maybe you should take your Greninja, and you should learn a bit about how to use its powers and stuff. And you should become more in tune by it by learning how to surf. You know? Like, literally. Learn how to do some of the stuff it knows how to do. And learn how to be with, like, the water and stuff. And he's going to go and he's going to be like, oh, great. 
and then he's going to learn how to do stuff with the water, and he's going to become more awesome with his Ash Greninja bond. I mean, I can totally see Greninja, Ash, and Serena, and Pikachu all heading off to that new region and just being like, yeah, we are doing this thing. Will Clement come with them? I don't know. To be honest, I really don't care if Clement will go with them. That's besides the point. Bonnie, she's a notable and more shipper, so she has a little bit of respect. But her annoyingness and rather useless gagster kind of adding to the group kind of um, makes me want to say, nah, she probably won't come. If she does, my respect for the developers will probably go down a bit. Although, my respect for the developers is so high right now, I really doubt that would damage my relationship with... Well, my relationship isn't how I... Anyway, that's getting off topic right now. Let's focus on what's at hand. Point is, with Serena and with Ash, things are going to be amazing if Ash goes there, Serena has to go there too. But if Ash wins, champion tour! He can go to Aloha, it'll be great, he'll be touring as the champion, people want to meet him, he'll challenge, gym leaders will be challenging him, or maybe there might not even be gym leaders, you know, the Elite Four will be challenging him because he's a champion, he's higher than him, maybe his new rival will be the champion, I mean, there's so many things, or maybe an old rival will come back as the champion and be like, I'm here for you, Ash, and it'll be like, yes! So awesome. And then we'll have it. Oh, man. It will just be great. And then, like, even and even if he doesn't want to go, like, Serena could be, like, going and then he'll be like, oh, sure, I'll tag along with you. And that would be a great hint. You'd be like, yes. Us and more shippers would be like, yes. The hint we've been waiting for all along. Just... You can tell I'm really excited right now. There are so many possibilities that this presents. Hawaii is not the end. It is the beginning of a new chapter of Sun and Moon. This is the beginning of Amore Shipping. Amore Shipping starts here. This is when the duality of Amore Shipping, the mutual relationship, begins. Up until now, it has been one-sided, but it will become a two-sided ship in Hawaii. And you know what? Hawaii is one of the most romantic places in the United States. So, hey, come visit us. I know France is a romantic, but you know what? Serena grew up there. Ash is a little deaf. Maybe they need a volcano and some other stuff to convince them to get together. And then they're going to get settled together. They're going to have kids, get married. That's in the wrong order. But anyway, they're going to get married. They're going to have kids. They're going to go into the next region. Point is, it's going to be amazing. Pokemon Sun and Moon has created so many new possibilities for a dual good ship, regardless of Ash winning or losing the league, regardless of what Pamela does, it is going to be a great thing. And even if Serena only makes a cameo, that cameo could make a more shipping canon because, you know, she could come there for a performance like, hey, Ash, hey, or they could become champion and queen respectively, meet up, and it could be, yes, whatever happens. This is going to be the thing. This will be the Amor shipping moment. This Pokemon Sun and Moon, the anime series Sun and Moon, represents Amor shipping canonness. That is how it's going to go down. That is how I see things going down. You have the right to dispute with me. We can talk about it in the comments. Remember, if you get a little nasty, we're going to have to um, resort to maybe... Anyway... Point is, try to keep it cordial. This is, again, just everyone here is opinions, because at this point, there is nothing that is confirmed when I'm making this video on May 10th of 2016. So I will see you later in the comments section. Please leave a like, leave a dislike, subscribe. I'm working towards a 1,000 subscribers right now, and I will see you later. Goodbye.